about uh, what God was doing uh, for us and through us at First Congregational United Church of Christ. I also thought about um, the, the celebration, the commemoration of the 60th uh, anniversary of the March on Washington. And then I thought about how uh, people are rallying together all over this world uh, to, to, to pray for and to assist in the building and the recovery uh, of the devastating fire in Hawaii. And I think about just even closer to home, uh, the fire that is burning uh, uh, rapidly in Louisiana, where uh, thousands have had to uh, evacuate. Uh, I heard uh, before going to sleep last night of a shooting at uh, my go-to store, and I'm going to say my go-to store, uh, because when you get it, when you you're working on uh, with a budget. You have to go where the prices sometimes are a little bit lower. Uh, so I, I, I pray for those who were um, uh, uh, victims uh, uh, to a shooting, mass shooting, what they call a hate crime uh, at a Dollar General in Jackson, uh, Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. So as we see what's going on around us, we have to know, we have to understand that God is on our side. Now, I don't know whether or not you believe that or not, but I tell you, it came so clear, it became so clear to me that I know God is on my side. Uh, the songs of ascent, uh, uh, a very special group of psalms, uh, comprising of Psalms 120 through 134. Uh, they are also called pilgrim songs. Uh, four of these songs are attributed to King David, Psalms 122, 124, 131, and 133, and one to Solomon, uh, Psalm 127. While, while the remaining 10 uh, seems to be anonymous. Uh, you can fact check me on that if you uh, so desire. Uh, the Psalms of Ascent uh, were compiled uh, for the pilgrim worshipers uh, to sing as they travel to the city of Jerusalem uh, to worship at the temple for the three major feasts. Uh, four of these Psalms were written by David and later found to be appropriate uh, Psalms uh, 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 for the pilgrim worshipers. Uh, this psalm, this psalm that is Psalms 124 is a community thanksgiving hymn. Uh, it's a community thanksgiving hymn. After some notable victories over uh, an opposing nation or an ethnic group, uh, many, many of these events occurred during David's reign as he sought to consolidate the kingdom, uh, establish uh, the capital city, uh, and to expand the borders. Uh, as with most of the uh, most of the psalms in the psaltery, uh, there this this one is written without specific reference to the incident, um, so that it may be more easily adapted uh, by worshippers or of different generations. Uh, so that to apply to their own situations. Uh, so it is with me today. Uh, in this case, uh, the appropriateness of the Psalms is found in the fact that uh, it is the Lord's historic del deliverance of his people from oppression that allowed them to continue their yearly journey, uh, journeys rather to Jerusalem uh, for the festivals the Lord had ordained for them. I tell you, the Lord, the God is on uh, my side and he's on your side this morning. Uh, the worshipers acknowledged in song that if the Lord had not been on their side, they would have easily been defeated and conquered uh, by the enemy. Uh, you see, uh, when the Lord is on our side, the enemy is going to be and will be after you. Uh, 
uh, David in this beautiful rendition was reminding Israel that if it had not been for God on their side, they would have been destroyed by the enemy, that they were far too strong for them. Among the many instances of the Lord's protection, the psalmist was no doubt recalling their Red Sea experience when he stated that the ter the, the, the terrant uh, would have swept over them, uh, uh, the raging waters would have swept them away. Uh, these, these were enemies that were bit vicious and they were anger, angry and passionate in their hate, their hatred of God's people, uh, uh, but 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 the psalmist says it this way: God was on uh, their side, and He is on our side. That was the only reason they had not been destroyed. Uh, uh, God somehow stepped in. Uh, he stepped in. He intervened. Uh, he raised up a leader. Uh, he put the enemy to flight. Uh, he brought confusion on the enemy. He delivered his people. Somehow, somehow, some way, uh, God did something so that Israel survived and came out victorious. Uh, I tell you, that's what he did for me just this weekend. Uh, he made a way out of no way when I was trying to uh, figure it out. The song says that he had already worked it out. So here we are this morning on Zoom and in person, knowing that God is on our side. Uh, uh, first church, first church, uh, these were God's people. The psalmist uh, was taking, was talking about uh, just as we belong to Christ, uh, we are the ones, we are the ones this morning who endured pain and suffering. We are the ones this morning who encountered who encounters injustices and physical and mental abuse. Uh, we are the one uh, this morning uh, who were led out of bondage to freedom. Uh, we are the one this morning, like we are, they were people who received God's covenant. Uh, they received the law of Moses. Uh, uh, they were, and we are children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. God is on our side. Uh, consequently, when it came right down to it, uh, none, none, uh, it, it, none of that matters. Uh, what really matters was the thought of it all. Uh, God was on their side. And likewise, he is on our side. Uh, uh, he protects us from the fowler. And many times he protects us from sin. Uh, uh, you see, the enemy had laid traps for them, and they had fallen into it. But out of nowhere, God reached down his hand and pulled them out of the snares and the traps of the enemy. Uh, notice the exaltation of the Psalms. Uh, uh, when he says the snare has been broken uh, and we have have escaped. Uh, our snare this morning uh, is broken and we have escaped. Uh, let us stand on the promise of God. Uh, beloved, uh, if Jesus had not been on our side, uh, where would we be today? Uh, had it not been for God's power and grace, uh, what might have happened to some of us? Uh, or what might or uh, could have happened to all of us? It doesn't matter whether or not uh, we come from a good family or we have money uh, or we have four and five years in degrees. Uh, I tell you, uh, or we have a safety net 
uh, in the bank. Uh, God is on our side. Uh, if, if it weren't for the fact that God had been on our side uh, this morning, think of what could have happened to us. Uh, think about how close some of us may have come uh, uh, to times of trouble, uh, to being destroyed. Uh, think about how God reached way down uh, and pulled us back up uh, and put us back on the street and narrow. It could have played out another way, but God was on our side. Right. Israel, like you and I, are in a constant fight. We're in a constant fight against our physical enemies. But our warfare as Christians, the Bible teaches us, is not against flesh and blood. We are dealing with principalities and powers and rulers of darkness of this world. Go back and read Ephesians 6 and 12. I tell you this morning, we are not dealing with angry armies. Uh, we are dealing with Satan himself uh, lie, laying traps for us, trying to discourage us and make us fearful. Uh, how many of us have been beaten down uh, and just uh, when we thought we were slipping into the deep, uh, never to appear again. God reached his hand and pulled us out. Uh, I certainly can uh, attest to being down, uh, way down in my spirit, uh, way down in my life, uh, way down in my health uh, but God reached down and pulled me out of the snares uh, if it had not been for God on my side uh, where would I be this morning uh, let's remember God's providence always uh, uh, always never taking never taking it for granted and let's say with the psalmist uh, praise be to God, our help is in the name of the Lord, uh, the maker of heaven and earth, uh, because God is on uh, my side this morning. I can uh, march through the valley of despair because God is on my side this morning. I can walk and not get weary uh, because God is on my side this morning. Uh, I I can run and not faint uh, because God is on my side. Uh, I can go through the fiery furnace and he will be there out of the, on the stormy sea of life. Uh, when God is on my side, he is there uh, on my bed of affliction. Uh, he is there when I'm hopeless. He is there. L let me tell you this morning. God stood, he stood right by my side. This morning, I know that each of us, each of us know that God is willing and he's able to bring us out of uh, what the enemy may term to be a uh, ending battle. But I tell you this morning, I'm never ever alone. Mr. Perry and the music ministry will come to us this morning, but I have to tell you this, give you some words from this song. I've seen the lightning flashing. I heard the thunder roll. I felt sin's breakers dashing, trying to conquer my soul. I've heard the voice of Jesus telling me still to fight on. Why? Because he promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. God is always by my side. He's always by my side. And he promised that he would not leave me nor forsake me. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.